Hey everyone, Luke here with another video, just giving you a progress update on the rental property that I purchased. Just kind of want to show you what we got going on. So we have been doing a lot of gutting and cleaning out junk from this house. As you can see, this is a seven by 14 foot dump trailer with, uh, I don't know, these are like four or five foot sides on it. And it's pretty much plumb full. So it's gonna be pretty heavy loaded at the dump, but we pretty much got everything done. Kinda wanna just show you some of the progress that we've been making and kind of the style and what we're gonna be doing with this house and just kinda show you guys what it's all about. So up there, we had two problematic windows. So what we ended up doing, we ended up just ripping the whole window out. We're going to be putting in a large slider window, which will give the upstairs some natural light, which would be really nice. The rest of the windows, we just took the inside windows out. Luckily there were storm windows on all of them. So those are fine. We'll probably put some new pocket windows in. As far as the outside, as you can see, we've really cleaned this area up. We got these trees out and down, got the brush cleaned up. And then what we ended up doing is we did not repair any of the structural stuff on the porch just because of the fact that the porch was actually in decent condition. It's just the top boards were starting to rot. So what I did is I had my deck guy come out and basically put all new decking boards all the way across. They're green treated. So what'll happen is basically they'll be completely waterproof for about a year. And then after a year, we'll have to paint them just to make sure that everything's treated. But the reason why you don't paint these right away is because after a year, eh, they will actually let all the moisture out that's inside of them. Green treated boards come with moisture in them. So after a year, then we'll actually paint them and cure them. But for now, the new deck, I think it looks really good. I'm actually really excited about it. And it wasn't but much money. If you know the right people, it's actually only about 150 bucks to repair this. So that was good. And the material is about 100 bucks. So this is what we got going on on the inside. We've got everything pretty much stripped down to where it needs to be. What we're gonna be doing in here is we're gonna do all new skim coating and texture. For those of you guys don't know what that means, basically the walls when we're done are gonna look like this. Obviously we're not gonna paint them pink, but that's what this area is gonna look like. And then we'll do kitchen cabinets all the way around. And then over here, we did new plumbing. So I had plumbers come over and put plumbing in. Plumbing is one thing that I will not mess with and I don't trust anyone to just do it. So I had an official company come over here and they did the plumbing. I wanna show you guys what's going on in the bathroom. The bathroom is starting to look really good. Not a ton of progress, but quite a bit. Um, we did some tile work in the bathroom. So instead of going really cheap, we want a tile work. It's gonna look really nice. Just kinda wanna show you guys what we got going on here. So this, is the shower area. I think it's turning out absolutely beautiful. We went with kind of a modern gray earthy tone and then we're breaking it up here in the middle with this beautiful breakup right here. I mean, it's just, it's looking really, really nice in here. So, and uh, instead of doing a tub again, what we did is we did a shower base. We got the biggest one we could get for this area and then it's gonna be all tile and then we're gonna do glass sliding doors. So, gonna be absolutely beautiful in the bathroom. Really excited. And then over here, we've got some drywall that's got to be patched in in the rental. We're going to be doing a new vanity, new toilet, and then obviously new flooring. And then this closet, this closet's actually huge. I mean, this closet's almost, it's like a almost three and a half to four foot opening. And then there is a lot of space in there. Bathroom is actually pretty big in this house, surprisingly, even though it's only a two bedroom, it's actually a very big bathroom. So what we'll be doing with that is we'll probably just trim that out, paint that up in there, and then put some nice new boards in there just so a person has a bunch of shelving in the bathroom. So it should be pretty nice once it's all done. And then uh, just gonna take you guys upstairs quick, kind of show you what's going on up here and what the plan is. So up here, we are going to basically take all of this paneling off. As you can see, kind of interesting here. We looked at some of the paneling and took it off. This house has like pockets in it. So we're, we're gonna take all this paneling off and see if there's any more space here, any more room. And we are going to do either all new paneling or all new drywall. So pretty excited for that. It's kind of a hot day out, so it's roasting up here. I don't have the air turned on or anything. <coughs> but yeah, so that being said, <coughs> that is what's going on, guys. It's pretty exciting. Just, I like seeing stuff come together. Got the light switch on there, so. With that being said, should be uh, kind of a neat little video once it's all done just to kind of show you guys what all goes into actually renovating a property and making it nice. So I have a little different perspective on doing rentals than other landlords. Some landlords try and get everything for as cheap as possible. And I like to get the building as cheap as possible, but when I get that building, I like to actually renovate it. Some landlords will come in and they will just do new paint, new carpet, new doors. But me personally, 
all of my rentals, I like to have them a, I like to give them like a modern theme, almost like uh, on a TV show that you would see on television where they do the flips and fix rentals and all that kind of stuff. All the kind of stuff you see on HGTV, that's what I try and do to my rentals. Obviously, I do have to be cost effective when making decisions. I mean, there are certain things that I do and don't do, but I'm definitely not a guy that just puts new carpet in, new doors, and then trim and calls it good. I pretty much redo everything that looks ugly. And by ugly, I'm talking about society's term standards. If the theme is not in or it's just not looking good with what's out there in the market, I redo it because I want my rental to appeal to basically everybody out there. So that being said, I basically am just kind of holding still on everything I got. I don't know if I'm gonna buy any more properties right now. Kind of want to get all the ones that I have completely done and then completely paid off and I'm probably gonna branch out into more or get them paid down more or less. But it's definitely been a roller coaster. I've had so much stuff to do in the last week. I got people signing up for the phone course. I got phone flipping customers calling me. It's been a really busy week. So, and then not to mention when you do stuff like this, You've got contractors constantly calling you, asking you, you know, hey, do you want to do it like this? Do you want to do it like that? You know, people have questions. So even though I'm not actually doing the finishing work, it's a lot of work in general just to keep up with everything. Although I did do all the demo work and everything because I enjoy just tearing stuff apart and learning how it's put together. Um, not to mention, if you are in the rental business or whatever, you basically save about 50% by doing all the removal work yourself. So that's one big thing that's kind of important to keep in mind. And for anybody out there that, you know, is phone flipping and stuff, if you're one of my subscribers, if you are asking on what you should be doing with your phone flipping money, this is it. You should be putting the money into rentals. You should be doing that as much as you can. Obviously, I know everybody can't just get into, uh, you know, rentals right away, but it's something that you want to do. If you can, you know, go get a loan, even if it's, you know, a smaller house, like a one bedroom, it's good to start now. Because if you have a house and you say you have a 15 year mortgage, well, by the time you're 35 or 40, that house is completely paid off. And that's just passive income now that it's going to give you. And you know, in 10, 15 years, you're probably going to make a lot of money on the house just as it appreciates over the years too. So just kind of something to keep in mind if you're wondering what to do with your phone flipping money or if you've been phone flipping for a while and you got a lot of money sitting around, you're like, what do I do with this? How do I make more of it? Put it into rental properties, put it into real estate, put it into something that appreciates that will eventually turn into passive income. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Uh, you know, I always get excited just seeing my properties come around because when I walk into places and I just see stuff that's not right or it's just put together poorly, um, you know, it, it kind of upsets me, I guess, because I take pride in, you know, the rentals that I have and all that kind of stuff. And I want my rentals to look nice. Another little thing that I did uh, just uh, yesterday, I think it was, is I'm just gonna show you guys. Um, you know, it just, it gives the properties a nicer look. But if you see right here, that guy's got his garbage can in front of the mailbox. But you see this mailbox, that mailbox, and my mailbox down there. I actually put in all new mailboxes all the way down and they're all matching. So it's just when people drive over here and then, you know, people know that this is kind of my block or whatever. It's a representation of me, who I am, and just how I do things. And I don't like to do things poorly and I don't like to do them, uh, you know, I don't like to just throw things together. I like it to look nice. And when I'm done with things, I like to be able to forget about it and not have to worry about it, you know, for the next 10, 15, 20 years. So we, uh, we concreted all of these in, I actually dug the holes out, concreted them in and uh, they're all the right height, etc. When you do a mailbox, you gotta be X amount of inches away from the road and you can't be too far away either, so it makes it difficult for the mailman. But that being said, that's kind of what we've been doing this week. Uh, basically been doing that from morning till sundown and then from sundown till midnight, 1 a.m. I've been in my office answering questions, helping people out with phone flipping and all that good stuff. So that being said, thanks for supporting the YouTube channel. Make sure you guys smash that like button, hit subscribe. We are at 1,200 subscribers. As soon as we get to 2,000 subscribers, we will be giving away $200 to a random subscriber and we will be doing a YouTube live chat. So make sure that you are subscribed because it is free money. And most of this advice that I give on this channel is completely practical. If you like practical advice, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You should also check out Stephen Graham's channel or Stephen Graham. He's a uh, he's a pretty good YouTuber. He's uh, very practical as well. And if you don't like practicality, well, then you don't like money because most money is made from being practical and just using logical advice. But that being said, thanks everybody, and I will see you all in the next video.